Hey guys, this video is going to show you how to do a full quote unquote clutch adjustment on a Suzuki Boulevard C50. This is going to cover the M50, anything that uses the Suzuki 805cc engine, probably all the boulevards, pretty much any bike with a manual clutch. If you have a hydraulic clutch, you don't have to worry about it. If you have a manual, you've got multiple points that you need to adjust to account for clutch wear, uh, clutch part selection, and cable stretching. So let's get to it. First thing we have to do is gain access. I gotta take off this cover here on this bike. We've got one little Allen bolt here, one down here, one down here. This one is fake, don't do that one. And then we have two bolts to take this intermediate cover off. So let's go ahead and do that. I believe these guys are four mil. Yep. Zip these off real quick. Got one here I forgot, hidden behind the main cover there. This takes simple tools, and by the way, you don't have to have it up on a stand to do this. I just have it so you guys can see it easier. Otherwise, it's kind of angled down. Makes it a little easier to work to. And for those of you asking, I did just readjust my rear suspension, put it back on setting four out of seven, had it on six out of seven. To make it a little softer because it was kind of jarring if your bike is stock you have to take off your side cover take off your tool kit and then you use the special spanner that should come with your bike and it's it's really tough to turn the collar to go from a larger number to a smaller number to basically uh, overcome the ratcheting mechanism it's a lot easier to go the other way just for your reference Okay, so what we've got here, we have the actual clutch lever down here, and what we're going to be adjusting, hold on, let me get you a better view of this, kick some light on. There we go. Okay. I know it's a little hard to see, but this is pretty low to the ground. This is as low as my stand here will go. What we're dealing with is this set of screws or bolts or whatever you want to call it right here. Uh, before I do that, though, we need to make sure that there's enough slack in the clutch cables. Up here, what we want to do is make sure that it's run in completely against the clutch bar. If you have this out at all, screw your locking nut all the way down, screw this all the way in. We want zero slack up here because this is our zero point. As the clutch cable wears, as the clutch wears, you can make your fine adjustments up here and pull it back out. But we're starting from scratch so we want to make sure it's all the way in as we start our adjustment, which is all going to be done down below. So down here at the actual clutch lever attachment point, we have something basically like doing a valve adjustment. We have a center shaft, and that is adjusted with a screwdriver right there. And then there's a locking nut around the outside of it. I know it's a little hard to see because it's covered in a little bit of grease and oil, but you use a 10 mil wrench to loosen that locking nut and that will allow you to adjust the actual center pin and that sets your actual clutch cable adjustment. And then down here what we need to do is loosen up these two lock nuts. And this whole adjustment mechanism here will allow us to set the cable gap. So now we got this nice and free. Now we come down to here we need to loosen the 10 mil nut. Don't need to take it off, just loosen it so that we can turn that center shaft. Now, depending on what you just did, I just put in a new clutch and it's got tons of slack right now. So this is very free turning. You may find that yours is quite tense so you need to back yours out you want to back it out until it's completely free spinning turn it in until you start to feel resistance okay now I'm not cranking on this screwdriver it's just with my fingers and you can tell when it stops okay 
can go back and forth and feel it, get a feel for it. But when it stops on its own like that, then you back it off one quarter turn. And then you lock down that 10 mil nut again. Nice and snug. Now your clutch is adjusted. Now we, what we have to do is use this to set our cable gap and we can visually do that up at the lever. Now what we're doing here is setting the slack in the cable so that we have room for the lever to move freely. And we're measuring the distance between this gap right here. Book spec is four millimeters. Pull the, pull the handle, let it go. You can see that it's got some slack there. You can do four millimeters or two quarters. Okay, ah, kind of hard to hold the camera here, hold on. It's a little loose. I'm, I'm bumping it with my stomach here. It's got a little bit, little bit of slack in it. Right here, right there is where it starts to actually pull on the clutch cable. So what we have to do now is close that gap by adjusting these jam nuts. So we need to turn this bottom one down so that the whole thing gets pulled up a little bit and snugs up that cable gap. I'll go ahead and do that. There we go. Verified the correct gap up top. And where did my 12 mil wrench go? There it is. So now we snug up this top lock jam, or jam nut. There we go. That sets our slack. Now pulling the cable, we have a perfectly adjusted clutch. I'm gonna go ahead and put the covers back on and that's all you need to do. This part, you really don't need to do that often. Up top, you can do your fine adjustments and you get quite a bit of fine adjustment before you have to redo it down here at the source. That's it guys, super easy, don't pay for it. Do it regularly and you'll be rewarded with a brand new feeling clutch very frequently. That's it, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.